We're here at Squaw Tank Trail, uh, except we're on the other side of the road from it. We're going to be going up Leela Mountain today. Here's Julie. Morning. So uh, I think it's about a five mile round trip and it's around 1200 foot uh, elevation gain. And we're starting off going through these bouldered area areas. So let's go see what we find. Well, we left the uh, parking area and we made our way north through some of the big boulder formations there, which are pretty cool. I'm sure you can climb around on those if you want to. But we're heading this way. Uh, we're looking for the second deep gully to go up and climb this mountain. Let's look behind us. There's a nice view of Malapai Hill back there. And that's out where the uh, Squat Tank Trail goes to the left of the Malapai, I believe. But we're headed this way. Okay, well, this is looking back behind us towards Malapai Hill. The uh, boulders have disappeared around the corner of the mountain there, that the parking lot, uh, by the parking lot. Uh, we're taking um, this second gully here. That's being the first one. This is the second one. Okay, this is a look up behind us in the canyon that we're coming up. Here's what we're going up. It's pretty thick and pretty rocky. Uh, there's no real wash you can follow. You kind of got to follow one side or the other. We're coming up into view of a plateau. So let's uh, go up there and take a little break see what happens. Well, this is a nice little plateau. We took a little break. Sat on the old dead Joshua tree there. Uh, now we're going to head to the northeast up this hill to that ridge right there and I believe there's another plateau up there. Okay, that's looking back at uh, Malapai Hill and the canyon we came up and the little plateau we were just at. And now here's the broader plateau up here. And Leela Peak is straight ahead across on the other side of this and it's about another three or four hundred feet up. So let's go. Well, here we are. We made it to the top. We're at about 40, what? 4740. Uh, about 4740, 4745, something like that. Not very high by mountain standards. That's looking across at the Pinto Basin and Monument Peak. And I believe the Eagle Mountains and the Coxcoat are over there somewhere. I don't know which ones are which, but. This is uh, Pleasant Valley and the Queen Valley, Wonderland of Rocks, um, San Jacinto and Gregorio. So you get a pretty good view out here. So nice up here. We're gonna have a little bite to eat. Not very cold. Not very windy. You see that thing up there? Yep. Pretty nice views up here. Back down to the biggest plateau. Which is a pretty cool spot too, very peaceful. This is overlooking the second the little plateau. Second one on the way down, first one on the way up. Nice little spot. Right there, tucked right in there.
Well, this is looking back at the two gullies. Uh, the left one is the one you want to take to get to Leela Peak. I'm not sure where the right one goes, but the left one is the one you want. We're coming back now down this wash, which is working out pretty well. On the way up, we stayed a little closer to the mountain here, but it uh, looks like the wash might have been the way to go. We're back to the, almost back to the trailhead, back to the boulders near the trailhead. Kind of a cool area. That one looks like it should tip over there one of these days. Yeah, handholds climb up it. You practically could. I Do it. We're back to the trailhead. Uh, it was about three and a half hours there and back. Um, I believe it was just over five miles the way we did it. And what is the elevation gain to? About 1,200? About tw a little over 1,200. 1,200 feet elevation gain. So a nice view from up there. It's a fun hike. A little rugged going up the canyon, but, uh, but hey, thanks for watching the video and uh, happy hiking.